This is Darren, the Sensible Angler. We're here at the iCast Show, where we're going to be talking about a new line of products called Skippy Fish. I'm here with Lou Consoli, the founder, owner, and creator of Skippy Fish. What, what can you tell me about this jerk bait that makes it different than all the other jerk baits on the market? Darren, here's the key to our concept of our jerk bait here. It's basically one of the most versatile lures really ever created. I mean, it's a minnow style type bait. It looks very natural in the water. But there's a few properties to our design that makes us different than any others that are on the market. And one is, is the design of that body style. It's kind of flat right on the top here. And that bottom is V-shaped. So really it has the, uh, the concept of a bass boat. It's shaped that way. And why that's important is when this thing sits in the water, it does not have a tendency to roll as the angler starts twitching that thing back. If we rig this, say, this six-inch skippy fish on a four-aught hook, and we're throwing that over grass beds, lily pads, stumps, all that junk that we know those bass like to hide. They get in those tight areas. If we throw that bait in there, if you look at a lot of the other products on the market, their hook slot, okay, has more or less, it's a rounded hump or rounded lips to it, and when you end up looking straight down that bait, it really presents a rectangular type of profile. Okay? So a rectangular shape in the water has a tendency to roll when you twitch it. Because this has basically a triangular type shape, it sits very buoyant in the water if you were using it from a weedless perspective. Okay. And when you twitch that through the water, that tail just goes crazy. It doesn't have a tendency to roll. And that's what makes that body style unique. The other thing though that's really one of the most important things is this long vertical tail. We designed it vertically so that it actually has a swimming action through the water. Okay. Okay, so it kind of gives it that little snake-like appearance. And then the tail on it is like a dolphin or a whale. It's a horizontal tail. It's not vertical like on a typical real bait fish. Right. So what makes the unique about that is, especially like on a four inch, Okay? If you put that four inch like on a little jig head and let's say we're fishing salt water, we're fishing maybe for reds or we're fishing for uh, uh, say some fluke. Okay, When you have that and you're bouncing off the bottom, man if there's any kind of little bit of current or if on a lake you're fishing for fresh water and you're jigging it off the bottom and that lake's pulling water from the dam, that river system you're fishing is moving pretty good, you don't really need to move that rod tip man, okay. that thing just twitches like So it makes that. an easy fishing bait. Real easy, real versatile. Texas rig it, Carolina rig it. You put this little four inch on a drop shot, man, it, and lights out, it's dead. Excellent, excellent. Now, now, how many colors do you have or patterns that for the Skippy Fish line? We have 23 colors currently, okay? And a uh, bunch of different patterns. Uh, we got our natural series, like your Threadfin Alewife, Gizzard Shad, your Arkansas Shiners. Uh, and then we have like our golden and silver Shiners with some lamination process to them, with some nice silver and gold glitter in it. Uh, we have some wonderful rainbow trout colors. But what we try to do is when we're designing a bait, especially in a color scenario, we want to try to match that hatch. Excellent. Yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. Exactly. Here's a cool little tip. Let me show these guys this. You know, we also have our Skippy Fish markers, okay? And there's a special proprietary blend uh, of an acetone to these markers that allow it to adhere to soft plastics, okay? So let me give you an example of why these type of markers are pretty cool to use, okay? Let's say you get an angler to go out there and they buy a baby bass color, which is what this is in a four inch. And this has happened to me before. You get out on Lake Champlain there up in New York and all of a sudden you're banging smallmouth on this little baby bass color and then they shut down. You're in eight foot of water, hard rocky bottom, you got a lot of grass growing up and all of a sudden you see a ton of perch swimming through. And you go, man, maybe they just switched off of this type of color and they went to maybe a perch pattern. We're gonna show you with three colors, really you just need two. But to get a little fancy, that extra black is awesome. If you just take an orange marker and a chartreuse marker, now if you use like a Sharpie or you use a highlighter, you're gonna make one or two casts that's gonna wash off and it's not gonna work for you. Okay. But watch what happens when we take a chartreuse marker we have a baby bass color, and right where our lamination line is, if we just put a little bit of chartreuse on that, just like that, okay? Hey, by the way, if you want to add chartreuse to a green pumpkin color, maybe just dye the tail a little bit, real clean. You don't have to worry about the liquid stuff in your boat spilling over and staining the carpet or your clothes. These are real easy. You put them in your pocket and you're done. Uh, but then if I just take this belly, and add a little bit of orange to it, we're starting to duplicate a perch pattern. See that? Now if you want to get real fancy, and you take your black marker, put your little stripes down the side, kind of imitate a fire tiger type oh, look pattern. look at that. 
So now you've just taken a Skippy Fish Baby Bass color and literally probably within 30 seconds to a minute on the water, you then have a perch pattern that you can throw out. So if we use the pink marker on a baby bass color with a couple black little dots, you got a rainbow uh, trout color. Look at that. So now you have that. See how it's not washing off? Right, right. It won't right. rub off. You will catch more fish with this thing. You'll end up switching baits before that color will ever wear off on something like that. Well, thank you, Lou. Now, where can we find more information about Skippy Fish and the product line? If you go to skippyfish.com, you'll see all our colors. You'll see where Skippy Fish is being sold in your local areas. But if you ever need us, you can email us at sales at skippyfish.com. If you have any questions, we'd be glad to answer them. Make sure you go there, check out the product, and get you some. Absolutely. And remember, all you dealers and distributors out there, you can find out more about ordering, purchasing, and term information at the sensibleangler.com. Thank you, Lou. You have a great day. Thank you, Darren.